Hello to everyone and welcome to another marine engineering video by Adventure Story Channel. Today we will talk about how to retrieve data from bearing condition monitoring system XTS W plus. Okay, and this is uh, we will see one of of the function. Okay, how to retrieve data and put it on USB stick so you can analyze the data and send it to office okay first of all we will watch the video okay and we will see also how this procedure take place also we will discuss the main purpose of this system okay we will see all the components of the system and we will discuss of which one we will see also some details and most important that I like to tell is that the details is more important and you need to know the functionality of your system so you can determine next some problems to understand better your system to have a clear vi visual okay of your system and it will be more better to see your data and to understand what is going on in your engine. Okay, first of all, let's see the video of the data retrieve. Okay, as you see here, I insert USB stick. Okay, and we go to report. Okay, we have some details here. We go to generate XTS report. Okay, class society and okay, here we choose from what date we like to make the report, okay? And this report is monthly. Okay, I start from 1st of January 2000 uh December, sorry. 13 of December that was the last date that we take the data and 13 of January select all cylinders next we make tick all the graphs here so we have all the graphs generated water in oil also and where we go now we go to create all cylinders also yes event lock all graph data here also selected and we go create a mode report okay now what is going on the computer is thinking okay it's creating the report okay somewhere i have made mistake okay uh, now okay it's doing the report but i will tell you where i made the mistake so now the report is created and we will see also that report how it looks like and we will discuss some things that we need to have in mind also there is available manual on board the ship there you can read everything there is instructions how to replace the sensors how to recover the system back okay all the steps as i see the book it's very good explained it's separated by chapters and you just need to check which chapter it matter for you okay it depends the condition your system is this system it's very reliable okay because you can see exactly what is going on in your engine it's very detailed so with this system you can prevent a lot of damages on bearings on uh, crosshead bearings main bearings and uh, this system is the best way to indicate the signs of wear okay It's the best way to eliminate the risk of bearing failure. So the report was created. Okay, do you wish to open the report in Internet Explorer? We can open 
there on this computer and we can see the report direct okay on this com monitor so i need now the report to be written on uh, the usb stick okay so let's see generate reports i press again okay view amount reports okay you can go there also and you can select the last one this is you see this is the last one on the top that i created okay i select it all the reports is inside okay all the report this is the report you can see direct it from here and i go there on the file okay now i check the report we will see it together I have also downloaded that report and as you can see I go to the file save as and after I search for the ah, it's already removable disk okay save and the report was saved on the USB stick okay it's just normal computer but with touch screen Okay. So now the report is saved. I can check also from here the report. All the sensors one by one have a valuable information. As you can see the information is for each sensor sensor. We have maximum minimum and average deviation and i put back on the sensor trend okay and you can see all the sensors separate in the graphs which we will see also later so now i go i was going to computer to check if that report was passed inside okay and the file was saved so let's see how the system it looked like okay we have a screen that shows a typical bar okay chart display all the sensors outputs okay so in this display also if the color change it's going green yellow or red this is the indication of conditions as you can see here clearly okay if it's in green zone everything is fine okay and also here as you can see there is some limits here okay in 500 microns sensor where okay we have some indication of yellow okay here we have red and also here sensor deviations here we can see some data for any alarm if there is okay if not it's clear okay but just only this is the place of indication of the alarms so you can see we have also here a lot of pages that you can select and you can manage and operate your program also this will be the condition if something will change the color okay you can see also here sensor alarm level reached okay 500 microns you have this is how it look like in green zone we say again it's everything fine everything it's normal also you can see the trends on the screen on the single screen okay you can see many years data okay there is a lot of selections of this program okay we have also in water in oil monitoring indication percentage and temperature and water in oil in ppms here so if you have the system you must be familiar and it's better to read the manual and ask some of the senior engineers so when you ask them also if 
they do not know something they will search and this is the best way to learn okay you have some questions always have questions because if you don't have questions that means that you don't care and the big thing is to have questions okay this is the best that you can have also we go to another okay the consequences of bearing failure you can find also this site which i will put it below on the comments okay you can read what exactly is the system and what the purpose that the company make that such of the, that system okay that is here i would say that have comments from one book that the nasty part about bearing wear is that it can and often does go on unnoticed until the damage is done okay this is the most work part okay when you have a, a problem and it coming unnoticed okay the time that you are not waiting that so that's why we put that system which reduce the high cost of damage okay and also with this system you can uh, show to the class societies that your bearings uh, it's in good condition okay and there is no need or overhauling or you can extend the period of overhauling such uh, a big job okay and also the bearings as you know they cost a lot okay there is a lot of operational cost savings and as we can see here on some sea trials a sea trial during 2004 on a container vessel driving by a seven cylinder engine okay back it up engine test bed findings the system was successfully installed and calibrated in five working days with future installations anticipated to be in the order of three four days the ship remained in service this is very important okay the system is stable no false alarm also uh, in my experience that i have worked with this system this system it's really reliable uh, but we always uh, must read the books okay we must have in mind how the system works and all the details whatever we need so we can know how the system is working and to do our best to solve any problem so let's see here also how it looked like an optional water in oil sensor okay this is optional some things on the system it's optional it depends from the technical department if they will install that one it's very important okay and we have a detail here that the sensor must be 25 millimeters be in oil flow so the measurement will be correct this is very very important for all sensors the positions that's why i like to say some details okay from the system and just to know that all the settings it's very very important and have one main cause why the manufacturer installed it okay so just remember that this play a big role so next we will see the report also this is how it looks like okay we have from to date we have all the sensors okay the report contains the following information for that sensors we have a engine information bearing wear monitoring system a mode and as you can see here we have a legend that if shows normal it's green all the status is green here and we have the sensors absolute okay this is the weeks here the dates this is all the month here and this is here the sensors readings 
okay the average is the green one maximum is that one okay if something go wrong the system will inform you and also will be alarms also slow down it depends how the system was set up also but normally the system is connected also to the Kongsberg so there will be alarm to inform the operator to take actions okay this is all the data and down below here we have oil water in oil monitor okay we have in date and i believe also this is ppm we don't have clear it will be better to have okay it will be better to have a better information about here to improve to show what we measure okay this is very very important so the operator will not be searched but the system is improved by us okay we need to give a good feedback also if the company is interested but mostly for our technical department we always need to give a feedback so the improvement will take place in some operations of the ship or some systems okay to be better somewhere i have seen one moment i have seen somewhere okay some main details of this system what monitorings and it monitorings cross head bearings cramping bearings main bearings there is signal processing units okay and also in this system it can connect the bearing line earth okay this is the shaft earth protection okay as you know the key benefits also here it's written here okay as we discuss also the class surveying can see the reports okay because there is storage there all the long trends okay and also here we have some indication that we show i will put these sites below on the video okay we have normal conditions of water activity here we have some details okay and here we have a description all the diagram of the system connections okay how it goes this is the sensors here engine junction boxes i will make a better zoom here okay optional water in oil okay and we have spu interface and then go to the monitor we have retrieve the report okay and also here we go from ship alarm and control system so a slowdown will activate it or shut down directly from this system with accurate warning okay and here we have also details from the proximity sensors oil sensor water in oil sensor okay shaft grounding equipment also engine junction box signal processing unit what it does okay all the sensors is connected here up to 14 proximity sensors okay and one water in oil sensor interface unit and we have some technical specifications here okay which is very important to know some of them okay now you have a general okay view of this system of bearing condition monitoring system it's very important okay also when you're going down also on the evening on the morning to check what is going on 
the, the changes on the load also monitor when the engine changes the load okay check what is going on with your diagrams how it interact thank you for watching guys stay tuned to adventure story channel more interesting marine engineering videos coming don't forget to subscribe and put your thumbs up for likes and don't forget also to check my websites where i have a lot of information and don't forget adventure story is here see you soon bye bye